Let's go ahead and uh, chapter three is in just an introduction to algebra. We're going to be working with formulas this section. Uh, do a little terminology and evaluate some simple formulas. Uh, I think this is, um, I pulled this from uh, Technical Mathematics, a 2008 textbook, but uh, I think this is worth uh, uh, talking about. You know, algebra is a very powerful tool. It's, over, it's estimated over 75% of all jobs require some level of higher level mathematics, I'd say. And when they say higher level, meaning college based, right? And the fascinating thing about algebra, it's in hard sciences, soft sciences. I've always said the further you go into nearly, pretty much any field, the more you will find mathematics. So it definitely is a big, big tool. Uh, and the beauty of mathematics, you guys, it's not just a tool. It's a language. It's a science. You know, uh, engineers very much appreciate mathematics as a tool and scientists and so on, right? But, but yeah, it's a language in and of itself. You got to read it, write it, say it, do it type of deal to learn the language of mathematics. It's a science, but it's also, uh, again, the more you get into mathematics, you'll realize the beauty of it, uh, especially as you get into proofs and things. There's really an artistry to it. So mathematics is considered an art in form as well, um, creatively. All right, let's talk about... Uh, this expression, 17 pi a d squared. The coefficient is the number in front of the variable. Number in front of the variable or variables. In this case, can you see the a and the d squared? 17 pi is actually your coefficient. Remember, pi is a number. Right? Pi is a number too, so 17 being multiplied by pi. 17 pi is a coefficient. Uh, the factors are just, uh, I should say, who's the variables? A and D are the variables. Who's the factors? Well, it's just everything being multiplied. The 17, the pi, the A, and the d squared, these are all factors. Each of those are all the factors. 17, the pi, the a, and the d squared. Everything that's being multiplied factors. All right. Oops. Uh, some common formulas, you know, the area of a rectangle, if you remember, is length times width. The volume of a cube, if you have a cube, every side length the same. If you call that e, side length e, 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 E times E times E E cubed is the volume of that, right? Like if this was if this was two feet, two feet, two feet, it'd be eight cubic feet. Uh, the pitch of a screw thread times the number of thread per inch equals one. P is your pitch and is the number of threads. Distance, here's another classic. Distance equals rate times time. A uh, simple interest is the principal you put in times the interest rate as a decimal times the T time in years. And finally, voltage is I the current times R the resistance. Well, let's do that one first. If the current in a certain electrical circuit is 5 amperes and the resistor is 7 ohms, ohms find the voltage well we're going to use that last one voltage is the current times the r resistance so we got v equals i 5 amperes times 7 ohms i definitely cannot draw that and so we get and amperes times ohms is volts Amperes times ohms is volts, by the way. So we get 35 volts. That's your voltage. Do some more here. Oops, that's just an answer, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> use literal symbols listed to translate the given statement into an algebraic formula. The distance to an object falls due to gravity. 
So I have my distance d is equals, 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 one half times the acceleration, which they call g. That's our acceleration due to gravity. Times the square of the fall t. So t is being square. Square of the time, I'm sorry, that's our time being square. And there is the um, verbal statement given as an algebraic formula. Now let's go ahead and use that. Now, let's use this formula. One half the gravity times the time squared. Find the distance when the acceleration is Remember our acceleration was the g, 9.8 meters per second squared. There's our g. And the time is 2.5 seconds. 2.5 seconds. Remember the time is being squared. So we've got to time um, square that, right? So we've got 1 half times and uh, 9.8 meters per second squared times, let's go ahead, 2.5 times 2.5 gives us uh, 6.25. And seconds times seconds is seconds squared. And let's go ahead and cancel our units. Notice seconds squared, seconds squared, that's canceling. And now we just got to multiply this all out. So we have 1 half times 9.8 meters is over 1. 6.25, that's over 1. 9.8 times 6.25, I guess 61.25. All over 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. This is meters. So it looks like we get 30.625 meters is the distance an object falls due to gravity after 2.5 seconds. Well, that's it for uh, as far as getting you kind of started on working with formulas and thanks for watching.